Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build the pop-up staircase. If we walk up to the top here, stand on these pressure plates, turn around, you can see the little staircase has popped up allowing us to get up to this top platform right here. And in turn if we want to go all the way down, we walk on the pressure plates and it neatly tucks into the ground allowing us to go back down to the bottom. And with this side on view, you can get a much better demonstration of this thing in action. So we walk up to this floor, you can see the staircase extends upwards, we can get up to the top. So this is great if you've got a base, you've got a big open staircase, and you would like to have an easy way to get up and down between the two. So now let's take a closer look at the contraption. The great thing about this staircase is the use of slabs. We have a nice gentle gradient to get from here to over here. If we power this, it's the same gradient to get from this one up to the top platform. Now the way this thing works should be pretty obvious, we're using pistons. Over here we just have one set, on this side we had double extending pistons. So when we power this thing, these pistons right here at the bottom are going to be powered first by this redstone, then one tick later the pistons above them are going to get powered. So the redstone powers this one, the block powers the one on this side, and we have the same thing going on over here with this repeater and redstone. So let's do that. You can see all the blocks get pushed up to the top position and then when we unpower this the pistons at the bottom are not going to be unpowered first because you can see here on the opposite side we have repeaters on a delay so it means that actually this bit unpowers first so these ones get pulled down then a moment later the pistons at the bottom pull down the ones above which means that these blocks are floating um, above where they need to be. So over here we have a falling edge detector that means when this redstone turns off and only when it turns off not when it turns on it's going to create a signal that goes into these repeaters at the back. So they're going to power the pistons that would have been pulled down and then they'll power down these blocks. So let's just see that in action. There it goes. Let's watch it one more time. Just notice how these pistons fire again and pull down those blocks. So as neat and tidy as this contraption is, its input is kind of in the wrong place. It's over here at the front. The most ideal place would be somewhere around the back here because it's quite likely you're going to want to do what I did, which is put down some pressure plates. But of course, this is redstone. You could use a switch, a lever in the wall. It's all up to you. So over here, the way that I've wired it up is with a T flip-flop. That is this bit right here that pushes the redstone block back and forth. And then this is the input block, so you can see I've travelled the signal up above. So when we stand on those pressure plates, we're going to move that redstone block over here. And that's going to power the contraption. And when we stand on it again, it's going to push it back across and turn it off. So let's start the tutorial. To build this, you're going to need the contents of this chest. That's all of your building materials right there. You'll also need an area of land that is five blocks wide and four blocks deep. And the two wide staircase resides over on the left hand side. It's these two blocks right here. Now over on the side I put where the slabs are going to be for comparison. So this being your bottom one you need two blocks below to build this thing and you can see that the slab is a half slab level. It's not a half slab on a full block like that. So that should give you a good idea of where to build this. So we're going to start off by placing down sticky pistons facing upwards. We want two of them in this gap like that. Behind them we're going to put repeaters on the second setting pointing into the pistons, then above them more sticky pistons facing upwards. Now this is going to be our staircase, you can put your blocks on the bottom ones, your half slabs on the top ones like that. But then we're going to go around to the back and put down three pieces of redstone here and another one right there. In the gap in between you can put a repeater um, facing in that direction. Then in this gap we need a sticky piston with a block above it. In front of it, a repeater, another repeater right here. You're going to put a block alongside that repeater and also one behind it as well. And then on the side of this block, you're going to put your redstone torch. That'll activate that, but don't worry, that's absolutely fine. And then if we come over here, we need two pieces of redstone. On the opposite side, we need a block. And then behind this block, we need a repeater facing in this direction. So now we need um, a block on this side, a block up there, a piece of redstone right here and now it's connected we need to disconnect that by putting a block right there now in this bit I also put another two blocks right here but actually they're not necessary at all so you can leave those out and then over on this side we just need a piece of redstone right here and a block right there and I do believe we have successfully created the contraption so let's give it a test there you go it extends does it retract yep that means that we built it correctly and that is it for this Minecraft tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like, you know, it would be greatly appreciated. And also, in the description box down below is a world download for your convenience. There's also a link to the tutorials playlist. Be sure to check that out if you haven't done before. I have made loads and loads of videos over time that I'm sure you'd find very useful. But that is going to be it from me this video. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.